Hi there, today we're unboxing the Nest Protect. So this is a smoke and carbon monoxide alarm by Nest. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged with the image of the actual smoke alarm on there. I come round here, it's your safety, don't settle for less. Okay, come round here, thinks, speaks and alerts your phone and some more details on the side there, and that's it. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So we'll start at this end. You've got a piece of paper here, welcome home, nest, and if I open that up, it's got the actual lighting modes that come on on the actual nest protects up where the circle is different colors can appear and it just describes what each color means so useful reference point okay next you've got a user manual so this particular version is the wired in version so you'd have to wire it in from your actual consumer unit or fuse box so if i just flick through that just to know it's all in english and what's interesting to show actually is the wiring diagram. So I've got three of these to install. They're gonna be installed by a builder. I may attempt to install one just to show how it's done. But just to note, one end goes into your consumer unit, other end, so another cable, goes to your next Nest Protect. And the connector blocks, you actually get three in this package, which are shown here. They're used to connect the wires together. So the top wire's earth, the next one's live, and then you've got neutral. All those wires are connected via the connector block, as you can see, and then the actual connector you get that connects to your Nest Connect is added as part of this wiring. So seems very straightforward to connect up. And just to note, if you have an older smoke alarm and you're replacing it with that, the interconnect wire isn't required anymore with this particular system. Okay, next you've got four screws for the actual mounting plate, which is there. Build quality of these seems nice and strong and a Phillips head screwdriver would be required to install. Then you've got the actual connector blocks. So I've already mentioned you get three of these and looks like it's a sort of thing where you just push them in. You can't just easily take them out again. I actually do prefer screw connectors. I can't see a button or anything like that to help me pull them out again. So once they're in, so if I come in close enough, you may be able to see if I push in there's a metal piece there and that just clips it on. So I don't know if you'd have to yank it out, but I'd actually prefer a screwing connector. So at least easily you could take it out again if you wanted to. Okay, next you've got the actual mounting plate. Okay, and if I take this paper out the middle, just to show build quality is good. Nice firm plastic. You've got the points where you can actually screw your holes in. You've got a little picture here just to show. So you'd, you'd place it on these positions where the hole is, and then you just twist it to lock it into position. So very simple. There's a seal there on both sides as well. So it's quite a nice tight seal between the ceiling and the actual Nest Protect. The way it actually goes is the ridge here that clips onto the next, next sorry, the Nest Protect. So you'd put that into the top and Nest Protect would sit onto the bottom and you just twist to lock it in place. Okay, then we've got the actual connector cable. Build quality of this seems good. Fairly rigid cable. And if I show the actual end of these cables, they've been soldered on so you don't have strands coming off it. And there's a connector here to connect it up. Okay, okay so next let's take a look at the actual Nest Protect. So size-wise, pretty compact. 13 and a half centimeters by 13 and a half and thickness wise it's about three and a half centimeters design pretty cool looking i have to admit you've got a button here in the middle to do a test or to mute the device if you've got alarm going off the main area here is for a speaker so obviously you can speak out if i come around here you've got some vents in here obviously to pick up the smoke or carbon monoxide if you did have any and if i come around here just to show, you've got a micro USB point here. They're not giving any details what's that about. You've got a connector point here for the cable. So if I take that and the clip part's there, so it just pushes straight in, then you press it to push, pull it out again. Okay, and then you've got a battery compartment. So if I push that down, 
and you can see the three batteries in there obviously for backup and a plastic piece there just to stop them from coming on so I just need to pull them off to make it active and that's it simple as that okay so next let me just show the actual mounting base and the nest protect and show how it sticks together so if you look here there's a slight clip and just there there's a gap and there's a recess there and all it is is a matter of putting into position and it just spins round and if it's not straight on the wall meaning if it doesn't line up with the walls you can twist it around just to show and then if you want to take it off just put it back again and then it just comes off simple as that okay so initially let's make a start at installing the app so I've got my Android device here let's click on the Play Store and we want to search for Nest and that's the app we want and let me click install let's give it a minute to install okay so now it's installed let's click open give it a moment to start and the next thing we want to do is register an account so let me do that off camera okay so I've registered my account let's click sign in okay this is what we're presented with you set up your account now set up your home let's click continue let's just call it home for now click next to that enter in your address okay you need to put in a postcode okay so let's click next okay news and marketing we want we don't want that nest home report summary of energy use we can turn that on okay do you want to use phones a location home away assist let's just click not now for that okay let's do set verification no not required at the moment just testing family accounts not now and there you go the apps now ready to use okay so let's make a start at adding in the nest protect so if I click the add button here okay it needs to scan in the QR code so we'll allow access to take um, pictures and record video okay so now the QR codes at the back of this so let me do that off camera okay so I've scanned in the QR code and it asked to enable location services with the app so I've done that and this is the screen I'm now presented with so it's saying make sure that you have all the nest protect you're setting up as well uh, your Wi-Fi password a ladder and a screwdriver obviously for installation purposes so let's click next okay where are you putting this let me just say hallway Okay, and wake up next nest protect. So it says pull out the battery tab. So if I go to the nest protect here and you just pull it out like so. There you go. Hello from nest. Ready. Press to test. There you go. Okay, let's click next. Okay, there you go. Now you're presented with your Wi-Fi networks to use. So I'm going to pick one of my test ones. And let me enter in the Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click next. And it's saying connecting, set up Wi-Fi. Connected. Okay, added to your Nest account. If you have another Nest Protect to set up, do it now. Otherwise, tap next. Okay, we're going to tap next for this. Path light. So path light guides your way when the room is dark. It can turn on for a moment when someone walks by. Very useful, I think. So let's click next to that. Okay, so sound check. Nest Protect constantly checks its sensors, power, and Wi-Fi connection. Each month, a second generation Nest Protect can also test its own voice and alarm. Okay, then you've got a preferred time. That moment is the morning between 7 and 11. I think that's fine, but we can change it if we wanted to, and there's the other options. Okay, then we can click Next. Okay, so install Nest Protect. Now you're going to install Nest Protect on your wall or ceiling. Follow the instructions in your user guide. So this is pretty straightforward. Obviously, install the mounting plate and then you can install the actual Nest Protect. So as this is a wired one, I'll have to drill an additional larger hole to have the cables coming down to enable me to connect it. 
on the actual Nest Protect. But I'll do that a bit later. Let's just follow the app through. So let's go next, run a safety uh, checkup. So once you've finished the installation, push the Nest button twice to start a test. Make sure that your Nest Protect is connected to Nest. Okay, next to that, and done. Okay, so if I press it twice. Ready in the hallway. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. And as you can see, the ring colors changing. Testing carbon monoxide. Just a moment. Finishing up. The test is finished. Everything looks fine. There you go. So all done and you saw the different colors appearing around the actual button here. Okay, so on the app here, we're seeing offline. So obviously that's because the power is not connected on this. So if I click on there, okay, and it's saying power is off and the power is off at the top. And it's just confirmed the test is successfully done. We'll click done on that. Check up, you can run a test directly from your phone just by hitting continue. We've already seen the test, so I won't do that. History, so this will give you a history of the actual Nest Protect. Let's go back now. Okay, so let's click on settings and sound check here. So you can change when you want your actual uh, monthly sound check to happen. So again, what we selected before, you can change if that's not preferred. Okay, next, silencing alarms. So this allows you to silence it from your actual phone. If you didn't want that, then you'd have to press the button on the Nest Protect. Okay, and then if I go back in, hallway, so more options here, pathway light, if you didn't want that, you can turn it off and you can change it to always be on. Okay. And then you've got nightly promise. So this is where, when it goes dark, uh, the green light will briefly glow just to enable you to know that it is working. Steam check so you don't get unnecessary notifications in case there's any steam. Heads up, so okay, heads up lets you know in advance of an alarm that smoke or carbon mox levels are rising and it's not as loud, okay? Brightness, so you can change the brightness. Spoken language as well. Wi-Fi connection can be changed. Location can be easily changed as well. Very straightforward. Okay, technical info. This will show IP address details. And if you're not gonna use it or you wanna remove it, you can just hit remove Nest Protect. And it's as simple as that to set up. Really is no, no hassles at all. So if you were going for a battery operated one, very simple, once you've done this, just mounting on the ceiling and you're done. Okay, so for the next test, let me do a sound level test. So I've got a sound level meter next to the Nest Protect and I can give an indication of how loud in terms of decibels the sound coming out of the Nest Protect is. So if I go quiet for a moment, so the ambient noise in the room is about 42.5 decibels. So let's initiate a test. So if I Ready click in the hallway, this is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. Okay, so you saw it was over 100 decibels, 108 a decibels on there. So really loud. So you're easily going to hear this if it goes off in your property. Okay, so for my next test, we're going to test out the Nest Protect smoke alarm. So I've got the Android app here. And if you look in the corner, we've got 4G connectivity. If I drop down here, Wi-Fi has been turned off. So this is a scenario where you're away from home. 
Now, I've got an incense stick here and it's been lit and it's giving off smoke. So if I grab the Nest Protect and just hold it over the smoke for a moment, let's see what happens. Please be aware, there's smoke in the hallway. Emergency. There's smoke. There you go. In so the hallway. Your app notifies you that there's smoke. Press the button to silence. If I press that. Emergency. Smoke alarm silenced okay. in the hallway. And you've got a silence button here as well. If I click that. And that can silence it. And if I drop down here alarm silence in the hallway so pretty cool you get notified obviously if it's gone off and if we give it a few moments now for it to clear up so let's move this away the smoke alarm is over there you go so it clears up and you're warned as well on your phone that smoke's clearing in the hallway. So how cool is that? Get notified and it keeps monitoring it once it's cleared as well. You get a notification that it's all in the clear. Excellent functionality there. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show is the Nest Protect wired into the mains. So the connector block here at the back, I've got a small connector block and I've wired that in to another cable and the other end of this cable is actually on a three pin plug and I've just plugged that in to have power going directly to this. Now when you're in that situation if you look back at the app you'll see where it says protect it's actually showing as has a green light around it so that means it's all working correctly. Now if it was unplugged let's do that now give it a moment go back there you go power off as you see there and the colors change to amber on there and you've got a message up here indicating that the power's cut on there so nice functionality okay next let's plug it back in again so obviously if you've had a power cut it will let you know so let's give it a moment with the power on let's see it turn back on to green and there you go it's gone to green Okay, so the next thing to show is the nightly promise. So if you've had that option turned on for the Nest Protect, what it will do, once all the lights go out, it will just glow briefly just to show it's in fully working order. So let me turn the lights off just to demonstrate that. So there you go, all the lights are off. And there you go, it's glowed green briefly. So it's gone out completely. Now, if I move my hand, there you go. It's just picked up movement. So this is the path light. So if you had this turned on, on the Nest Protect, what will happen if you wake up in the night, you just walk out into your hallway, this path light will turn on to give a sufficient amount of low level light so you're not walking around in the dark. So quite useful functionality you're getting with this.
Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of the Nest Protect. Very simple to set up and configure. Very useful bit of tech here. The fact that you can be remotely notified if there's any sort of fire or carbon monoxide in your property. It does self tests as well, even has the path light. So if someone wakes up in the night and they're walking in the dark, it can light up their path for you and you can even turn that off if you want. You can remotely do a test as well and the sound levels on this are pretty loud so no issues there. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.